I trust you, I trust you, I trust you, God, in Jesus' name. We trust in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you, we praise you, we honor you, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We certainly are rejoicing and glad in it, praise the Lord. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. want to welcome to everyone under the sound of my voice, amen. Happy Sunday to you, hallelujah. Amen and honor God, honor God honor God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For air in our lungs. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. We praise you. We honor you. We bless you. Well, welcome again to all of you, all of you to our, our, our people that are joining us live on the telephone. God bless you. Life changers, life changers family. Blessings and peace be to you. Amen. God bless you to those that are joining uh, Facebook. Amen. My Facebook family, I love you. Facebook family and friends, hallelujah, and uh, of course, YouTube, amen, you, you uh, that are joining us this day by YouTube, God bless you on, all throughout social media, today is the day that the Lord God has made, we're certainly rejoicing and glad in it, again, happy Sunday to all of you, hallelujah, I'm going to share out of my heart, out of my spirit today, uh, something that God has put in my heart, amen, hallelujah, so welcome to you, and uh, we appreciate you. Amen, amen, amen. Historical uh, uh, week for us. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for chiming in. Hello, hello, hello. Amen. <laughs> God is so good. God is so good. Praise the Lord. So we got something that we want to talk about today. Amen. What do we do now? What do we do now? Amen. America has been holding her breath for um, a number of days, and I want to preface this by saying you are looking at the most, at uh, least uh, political person on in all of America, I'm sure, <laughs> right here. I don't, I don't indulge um, in politics, but of course, everybody, everybody has been glued to the tape, uh, to the TV, everybody has been watching and, and, and waiting on results and we've gotten them praise God and uh, it's, it's been elation for some as they are celebrating the first African-American uh, woman and embarking upon the vice presidency of the elect vice president of the United States of America it is monumental it is a humongous thing for people of color that are celebrating but not all people of color celebrating um, it is a, a joyous occasion for some. It is a horrific disappointment for others. There is an incredible divide uh, yet and still about if, you know, if and indeed this is legitimate, if, it, uh, if this being contested, will that uh, falter in some kind of way? Will that alter what we see as and has taken as the, the process? And so it is a divide, it is a, a uh, elation for some, a disappointment for some others. And I'm telling you the truth, in recent days, as we have been seeking God and praying, um, the one thing that majority of people are doing is they have been praying. Amen. And I think it's interesting that we're praying, the most of us are praying uh, for peace. And most of us are praying for solidarity and for the, not for our, our nation to be red nor blue, but for our nation to be uh, united. And so there's a lot, there's a lot that is on the table. There's a lot that is being discussed. But I want to share something from, with you guys uh, today from the spirit, from what God has been dealing with me about. Um, I believe absolutely it's imperative for us to be informed. We need right information. We need to be passionate. If you know, if for everything that needs to be changed and everything that needs to be addressed, amen and hallelujah. 
we need to in a soul. I want you to hear this from the very depths of my spirit. Amen. That as God has given it to me, we should be passionate. We should be, we should be very, very, very uh, informed people about elections because results matter. Results do matter. Okay. However, you know what? There is a place where you slip, you step off from being informed. There's a place where you step off from being passionate to being obsessed. And this is an area that is absolutely unhealthy. It is a place that we can shift from, um, and, and please hear my heart, uh, we're supposed to get information. We're supposed to know what is important. We're supposed to be aware of the state of our nation, the state of our economy, the well-being of our citizens. Absolutely. And we're supposed to roll up our sleeves and fight for change. And we're supposed to be diligent, amen, in bringing forth change. But again, ladies and gentlemen, there is a place and a position where we shift from information, where we shift from inspiration, where we shift from passion to obsession. I am absolutely convinced that there are people, and I'm particularly uh, targeting the believers, okay? I am particularly speaking to those of, of faith, okay? Um, we have to be very wise, and I speak this out of the very depths of my spirit that is coming forth a place, a pure place of love, but we have to use wisdom. We have to know when we're being, when we're being, um, when we're being over inundated into anything because and when I say balance I'm not talking about give a 50 50 that's not what I mean when I say we need to be balanced when I speak of being balanced what I'm saying is we need to tip the scales in the favor of God not in religion but in favor of God amen and when I mean when I say that what I am saying is that over the last months weeks and perhaps the last four years, we have possibly called out the names of politicians, uh, Joe Biden, uh, President of uh, uh, President Trump, uh, President Obama. We probably call out their names more than we've called on the name of Jesus. We've possibly known, amen, when we look and we see, you know, someone says the president said this or this politician said that. And we can go in the twinkling of eye and we Google what we call fact check. And we check their words. We check their verbiage. We check their, 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 their speech. We see in it what the words that came out of their mouth are accurate. Or did they line up? And we're playing tapes and we're reviewing uh, documents and we're looking and we're checking their words. And this is the part, this is the part that I want us to be cautious about. When we check the words of man and we don't check the word of God, you've gotten off balance. You've got to get to a place where we are, we are insatiably, obsessively uh, given our, our heart, given our time, and given our attention to politics. I want to reiterate something from the scriptures. It says, have no other God before God, because he's a jealous God. And is it possible that we've given so much of our energy, so much of our time, so much of our attention to the, what man is saying, as opposed to what God is saying. And so, yes, I am absolutely in favor of information. I'm absolutely down with being passionate. And I'm absolutely an advocate for change. But, y'all, we have got to fall back. We have got to scale back for perspective's sake. We have got to look and say, where is God in this as it relates to your relationship? Our souls, our spirits, our minds have been inundated with so much politics and so much division and so much side taken. Amen. That we've lost perspective. Amen. Of ourselves. When you're looking at a man for change and you start to re you start to veer off to look for change from politicians and from parties and from political stance. Hey man. And from individuals. You are making a mistake ladies and gentlemen because God is the one who's the leader of your life.
name. The Holy Spirit is the leader of your life. We've been talking here, if you've been following me, we've been talking for weeks now of how to be led by the Spirit. How to be led so that you don't take, uh, so that you don't take the wrong course, so that you don't get off course. We've been talking about how the Spirit of God uh, brings us, and He's a course corrector, that when we get off, you know, I love to travel, and I love to, to, to uh, uh, sail, and I've been studying recently how when a ship, if it gets one, listen, just off one, just little bit, how it ends up completely in a different place. And so I'm saying this to say, uh, that brings me to this point. You know what? Don't get off course. Allow the Holy Spirit now. What do we do now? Get on course. Let the Spirit of God get you on course. See, you can be so busy trying to follow, amen, others and follow a man, that, whether that man or that woman, praise God, amen, is of your political persuasion or not. You can get inundated with following what they did, how they did it, how they operated, what they said, what they should have said. You can get so inundated in following their lead until you stop following the lead of the Holy Spirit. But see, we got to understand Understand that real change, and let me keep it a hundred. Let me go a hundred right now. Real change about your life is never going to come from a political political persuasion. The changes that God is requiring of you and me to make in this life, in this time of our life, amen. The, the time and the change that we have to make these changes are vital. You are losing time, you are losing days, you are losing months. And if you've been following some for four, five, six, Six, seven years, you are losing years. The real change that is supposed to be in your life, the real change that's supposed to be in your finances, the real change that's supposed to be in your ministry, the real change, the thing that you are here by God to make a difference is if you're waiting on somebody else to change it, I got news for you, you're going to miss out. But the Holy Spirit is saying, you won't change you want to advocate change, do what God gave you the responsibility over, and that's you. Hallelujah. There's no political person that can change the issues of your mind and your heart. Hallelujah. There's nothing on the ballot. There's nothing on the agenda. You got to work the first things first. It's time for us. What do we do now? It's time for us to take back fall back and look at God. We're looking at politics more than we're looking at God. We're looking at men more than we're looking at Jesus. We're looking at, amen, for people to deliver us more than we're looking to God. Come on, somebody. I, I got to go in here and get what the Holy Spirit said to me. Amen. My message Six pages long, but the Spirit of God told me, I shared it with Dr. Tony, amen, to tell the people of God, amen, you ready for change? You want to institute change? What did God tell you to change? You are, listen, hallelujah, you better vote on Jesus. You better understand that the things that God wants now for you to be responsible for, it is five things right now that if you have been just inundated and following and looking for somebody else to come in and save you, for somebody else to come in and save your economy, your marriage, your relationship, your family, your children. Listen to me. We have called on the names of these politicians, these elected and appointed officials. We've called on their names more than we've called on the name of God. We've called on their names and, and haven't got the record. We've spoken more about them than we've spoken about our loved ones. We have children that have not talked to parents because parents too busy listening to what the, the uh, reports are coming in. It is time to fall back and fall in place. It's time for us to fall back and fall in line. We have given our spirit and it's brought, and listen, it has brought contention. It has brought division. It has brought, uh, it has brought so much, amen, um, a separation. And you know what? When you get inundated with any of the Bible says the word is no effect in your life. When you get in, it just inundated, when you get overwhelmed with the world system and the world's way of doing things, amen, it says that the word will be choked out of you. That means the thing that God has been putting in us, the word that we have learned, amen, will escape us. It would be like water uh, uh, and steam. It would just evaporate. 
and you'll look up and go, wait a minute, I was supposed to be working on my life. I was supposed to be working on my health. I was supposed to be working on my relationship. I was supposed to be better in my relationships and dynamics with my family, my spouse. Hallelujah. But you are now so inundated and you're feeling in all your feelings and you're so angry and you're so disappointed or you're so elated. And you know what? The worst thing we could do now is glow. All right? The worst thing we can do now is pout. Hallelujah. So if you're gloating because your, your guy won, or if you're pouting because your guy did not, amen, you are missing God. The Bible says pray. Pray earnestly for all men that are in leadership, and that includes women too. Our job is to pray and to vote. Our job is to get information. Our job is to be passionate. But listen, there comes a place where you got to draw a line and go, I've done my part. I've done my part. Now I'm turning it over to Jesus. And you got to fall back because you'll find, you find yourself angry and you'll find yourself bitter and you'll find yourself agitated and you'll find yourself out of love. Oh, come on now. I'm starting to preach. You will find yourself. Somebody give me a heart if you're with me. You'll find yourself on the wrong side of this. Hallelujah. You'll find yourself, amen, inundated with the wrong thinking and the wrong spirit because we have given ourselves, we have yielded ourselves over to a system, amen, and over to a way, praise God, instead of going God's way. Remember the scriptures. God, Jesus told us, he says, I'm the way. Y'all better come on. He says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I am the light. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we need to come back and begin to take first things first. Let's not put policies, procedures, people, and politics in front of our purpose. Your purpose, amen. Your purpose. Look at your purpose. Get back to working on your purpose. I want you to know all change that is significant, all change will never ever come through policies and procedures and politics. It's not. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above anything you can ask, hope, dream, or think if you're looking to God as your source. If you're looking to God to be the change. Hallelujah. God is the way maker. He's the way maker and the miracle worker. Amen. He's the promise keeper and he is the light in the darkness. And so ladies and gentlemen, let's come back. Let's come back to our own our own self. Get your spirit back. Come on, somebody. Get your resilience back. Get your dedication back. Come on. I want you to take these next couple of days. Cut the TV off. I want you to take these next couple of days. Pull your Bible back out because this thing is life. This thing is life. There is life in this thing. Hallelujah. The word is where we get our instruction from. You know what? If you get so in caught up, if you get so inundated, you'll start to believe the propaganda. You'll start to believe the words you you hear. Why? How can I say that? Because the Bible says faith comes by hearing. So whatever you're hearing and hearing and hearing, y'all please don't let me preach by myself. Somebody say amen. Whatever you continuously hear and continuously allow to go into your spirit, whatever you allow to continue to go on the inside of you, listen to me, that's what you're going to be inundated with. That's where you're going to find yourself at. And so you'll be talking about you'll be talking about the politics and you'll be talking about the presidency and you'll be talking about the the elections and you'll be talking about the policies and procedures instead of talking about Jesus when there's a whole world. Ah, uh, listen, don't lose your purpose. Don't lose your purpose following politics. Listen to me, glory to God. We are here to be light. Ah, uh, you can't be no light. If you cut the light off, you can cut Jesus off so that you can follow a man. You can't cut Jesus off so that you can follow procedures. You can't cut Jesus off so you can follow politics. I am being as real as I can possibly be. Listen, what about your own passion? What about your own purpose? Where is you God trying to take you? I want you to put every politician beside. Don't think on them. Don't call out their name. Hey Amen. Why don't you call out your name? Oh, hallelujah. See, real leadership starts with you. You better learn that God lead you. You better learn how to get in position so that you can advocate and you can bring to fruition what you're here for. What is your purpose? What is your mandate? Let me ask you a question. What is your agenda for your own life? Mm. Mm. What's your agenda? 
What is you? What are you supposed to work on that you got so anxious that you put your own life to the side? You got so involved, you put your own life to the side. You put your own call to the side. Your ministry is on the back burner while you are watching somebody else rise or fall. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I'm telling you, hallelujah, put nobody, put nothing, put no policies, put no politicians, put no procedures, put nothing ahead of your own purpose. Come on, somebody. Work on you. You've lost sight of you. Where is your coins? Let me tell you something. Do you know, that regardless, and I'm just being real, I'm just keeping it real. Do you know no man can stop from prospering you? Do you know economically you cannot be denied no matter who's in? Republicans, Democrats, Independents, it don't matter. Do you know when God is for you, the Bible says, God before you, who can be against you? Do you know God is able to bless you and prosper you? Amen. In the pandemic, in the problem, listen, people have always come up and let her from the Holy Spirit, and we've always been our own best ally. We've always been our own solution. Y'all better come on. If anybody receiving this, let me see some hearts and let me hear somebody say amen. Hallelujah. So what is it you need to work on, y'all? Don't put this behind you. What do we do next? Turn to God. Don't have nothing that's more important and more, well, this is important. Sure it is, but is it more important than you? No. Is it more important than your family? No. Is it more important than your health? Absolutely not. It is people, <clears throat> I mean, my husband and I were talking uh, yesterday, and Doc told me um, that the hospitals are starting to have resurgence. I mean, they are filling up. Listen, not just with COVID. Not just with people, you know what, people that are stressed and under anxiety and having panic attacks. You mean we have given ourselves over so much that we haven't slept in weeks? We haven't, some, I heard, seen somebody post, I, now I can sleep, I didn't sleep for four years. Well, you know what, that's on you. That's on you, because why you lose and sleep when the God of your salvation promised that he never sleeps and he never slumbers. Let's not get this thing off balance. Let's not get off kilter. You are giving your energy. Do you know what you give your energy to? You give your life to. Do you know what you give your time to? You give your life to. You are giving all of this time. You are on the clock, and you are taking care of somebody else's business and not taking care of yours. It is time, you know what, to make a decision this this Sunday, this Sunday, November, I think the 8th, amen, this Sunday, come on, take your power back, take your power back, take your perspective back, Get let the Holy Spirit now course correct you, so that you don't end up in the wrong place, so that you don't end up talking and being a talking head, a talking head, the people on TV, they getting coins, they getting thousands and thousands and probably millions of dollars to run their mouth. But what about you and me? We just mouthing off for nothing? Stop it. We just posting for nothing? Stop it. Don't be a part of the problem. We are only here to be part of the solution. Let me explain something to you. I am so, I, I, you looking at the most non-political human being in America. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I pray earnestly and I vote. I've been voting. I was elated when I turned 18. Me and my best friend was holding hands. We said a prayer, amen, and we voted when I turned 18 years old, and I've been a part of it since. Hallelujah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually grateful to God to be an American. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful as a black woman, I get an opportunity to vote. I'm not playing that. I'm not trying to discount where we come, and I'm certainly not trying to downplay where we should go. We need to keep making strides. We need to go. But let me tell you something. Don't be hoodwinked. Don't be hoodwinked. Glory to God. Believe the God who is the God, listen to me, of justice. Believe in the God who is the God that is just and fair. Hallelujah. And he repays. I want to read a scripture into your ear. Listen to me. This is Psalm 75. Psalm 75, and I want to read this into your ear. Listen to me. The Bible says, Psalm 75, 6, For the promotion cometh neither from the east, nor does the promotion come from the west. 
nor from the south. Hallelujah. Listen to me. It says, but God is the judge. He put his one down and he set it another up. Hallelujah. 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 Bless his holy name. Don't over politicize this stuff. Don't over spiritualize this stuff. Amen. Do your part. Yes. Do your part. Yes. Be informed, of course, but don't get off course. Allow the spirit of the living God to get you course corrected. What have you finished this year? What have you accomplished this year? How have you grown this year? God then kept you through the COVID. God then kept you through the pandemic. God then kept food on your table. He then kept you a shelter. He then kept you employed. He then kept you sane. He then kept you, and he's going to keep you. Do your part. Get course corrected and be led of the spirit. God doesn't want your spirit inundated with so much that you are listened to so much that now you're feeling hopeless. You're feeling abandoned. The only reason people are feeling completely abandoned, the only reason people are feeling completely uh, 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 downtrodden, you know why? You get overly confident in a man. You get overly co confident in a, in a, in a party. And you miss God. Listen, hallelujah. Peace, the Bible says, Jesus told them, I give you my peace. Not the peace of the world. Hallelujah. So the world didn't give it, listen to me, and so the world also can't take it away. So you should have peace right now. It should not be pandemonium. It should not be rioting. It should not be violence. It should not be. But it is if you have not allowed your spirit to continually be uh, uh, fed by the Holy Spirit. So yeah, you're feeling empty. And yeah, you're feeling diatribe. And yeah, you're feeling betrayed. But listen to me. It's time. It's time for those that are truly called by the name of the living God. To put God first. To position God first. Position God as the priority over politics. Over party lines. We've got to walk in love and forgive everybody. And it should not matter whether it was a crisscross. And God, for, listen, who knows? Who knows? You know what? We have always got to take this perspective that is God over politics. It's God over, it's God over party lines. And I have got to make sure that my mouth is speaking love, and my mouth is speaking unity, and my mouth is speaking faith. Hallelujah. My attitude has got to represent that. And so, listen to me, praise God. The Holy Spirit wants us now to not have an unhealthy, an unhealthy perspective. What do we do now? What were we supposed to be doing before the elections? What were you supposed to accomplish in 2020? What do we do now? Shift. Shift. Shift your mind. Shift your words. Shift what you're checking. We're checking the words of man and have completely obliviated checking the word of God. God is telling the truth. His promises are true. You, all of this is true. There is, no, there is no compromise in this word. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace, and I will bless you. He says, above all things, I wish for you to prosper and be in good health. That means good mental health, that nobody should be in anguish, and nobody should be, uh, listen, in any kind of sickness over this. The blood of Jesus. My prayer for you today, amen, is to allow God to speak a word of peace. Allow God to speak a word of purpose. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you to your next place, to your wealthy place. Amen. Let God lead you so that you're not encumbered with stress. And one of the, my heart goes out to people in the hospital today, not because they have diabetes or COVID or, or cancer, because they're stressed. They are bent out of shape. Their, their mind is not at ease. Their mind, their, their, their blood pressure is up. Not because they have a, a deficiency, but because they're stressed over politics. They're stressed over the condition of the nation. Listen, God knew when he sent us here that what nation we would live in. 
He knew when we were, before he formed us in our mother womb, that we would be alive in 2020. God knows it. And the fact that you are here, you're here to not just survive, but to thrive. God didn't send you here to lose. Come on, y'all. So get focused. Get focused in your faith. Amen. That I've given my time, my attention. I've given all so much, so much to a, 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 a procedure, a policy. Amen. Praise God. And, and I've put it, I've put it in the place and I've given too much energy to it. Can we admit, can we all admit we've given too much energy to this? We've given too much concern to it. And I've, and I, you've heard my heart. You know my heart. It is important. Results matter in politics. Results absolutely do matter. But they do not. They do not hold the position of our God. They do not and they should not hold a position of our faith in our God. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go back. Where do we go from here? Back to praying. Go. Where do we go from here? Back to believing God. Where do we go from here this Sunday? Back to your purpose. I want you to go get your purpose planner book out. Go back and get your dream board that you made in January. Go back and get the thing that you believed God for in January and February and start to work in it. Ask God to just give you a new resurgence, give you new energy. Amen. Because our spirits have been inundated and filled up. We are, we are overflowing with politics. We are overflowing with other people's agendas. Oh, we know what they said and what they stand for or don't stand for. But what do you stand for? If you stand for Christ and if you are God's, the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord, listen, say so. You need to tell God, I'm bad. Lord, I'm bad. You, and then don't just give lip service to it. We've got so obsessed. This is an addiction. It is the first thing we do outside of being at work. The first thing we do, we got to know what they say, what they said. Why don't you? I am challenging you to get your face turned toward God. Set your face like a flint toward God the rest of this year. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And say, God, what says thee? What do you have for me? And then what are the things that are lacking in your life? What is it you need to come up here? What is it you need to accomplish? Why have you forsaken your goals? Hallelujah. Get back with God and vote on Jesus. Come on, somebody. Get back with God and know that you can't lose when you partner with him. Hallelujah. Get back with God and say, God, I want to fulfill my call, my destiny. I want to get to the wealthy place. I want to get to the high place. Hallelujah. And then you start doing your work. Mm, your work. In Jesus' name. Do what God's called you to do. Fulfill the destiny that God's called you to fulfill. And be everything that God's called you to be. I understand the stress. I understand the nail biting. I understand, praise God, Somebody, a pastor asked me recently, was I nervous? And I said, nope, I'm not. Because I worked hard. I worked diligently. And I was in, you know what I was doing? On my face. Saying, God, help us. Help our nation. Help us get it right. Help me stay calm. I was praying for me. <laughs> I was putting some prayers in there for me. Amen. As well as for you. Hallelujah. And God came through. And he did keep me. And he did keep my mind. Amen. And you know what? And I'm thankful. I got people that I that I are proud Republicans who I absolutely love. I have people who are proud Democrats that I absolutely love. I have friends who are proud independents and I absolutely respect them. And I will not allow political standings to separate what God has built up. Come on, somebody. I have worshiped shoulder to shoulder with people of every color. Hallelujah. And believe all different things politically. Politically. And see, don't come on my page with nothing crazy because I choose to walk in love with my brothers and sisters. You go on and separate if that's what you feel to do. If that's what you're doing, do you. But as for me and my house, 
We gonna love everybody, irregardless of their vote. In Jesus' name, the devil won't separate here. I need an amen. 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 Hmm. We're going after God's way. Fulfill your own destiny in Jesus today. Fulfill your own assignment. Go back, turn that TV off, and start stop listening to them come into your house, your heart, your home, and go out and talk to the people you really live with. Hmm. How about having a face-to-face -face conversation? Not through a TV. You've been talking to the TV long enough. How about having a face-to-face -face conversation? You know when the pandemic hit and it hit in our state, amen, I cleaned up a special area and I said, guess what we're going to do? Something we don't do. We're going to eat together. <laughs> I just said, we're just going to sit down and eat together and break bread together. You know why? Because our lives were just too busy. Our lives were just, our schedules were just too busy. And then all of a sudden, nobody had nowhere to go. Hmm. Listen to me. Don't miss this moment. Let priorities, I believe we could learn a lesson. Get your priorities out of politics, of course, unless that's your job. You're not a politician. Get a back up <laughs> and get priorities for purpose. Let your purpose not be your priority. Let the God-given purpose for your breath while you're alive now begin to put you on the path, put you on the course to fulfilling, fulfilling your destiny this year. I'm Dr. Regina, and I love you. I love you. Amen. And I'm not here to complain or confront in any way. I'm here to decree a thing that your purpose matters. What do you do next? You go on and you go and fulfill your own destiny. Fulfill your own, climb your own ladder. Get up and do the thing God told you to do that makes you great. Amen. Don't leave it on the table for 2020. Listen, we got a few days left. Go head home in 2020 and be the best version of you you can be. But you got to put God first. You got to prioritize God intentionally. We just cannot be that deep, that busy, that we are, you know, doing all this other stuff in the place of God. So today I'm sending out from my heart to yours that I love you. I love you. And if we were cool before, I'm still cool with you. Amen. I can't speak for you, but I want you to know I'm cool with you. Amen. I still love you, and I would feel the same way either way because I am just not that politically engaged. Amen. I choose Jesus over politics, over politics and over parties. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. And my family, no, I'm not just talking. That's how I feel, and that's my perspective. And God will be God. He will be God, and he'll be God over your life your house, your family. As for you and your house, you shall increase more and more. That's a promise for God. And it is a promise that politics and procedures cannot take away. God will prosper you in the middle of the pandemic. He's done it time after time after time after time for those who are in covenant with him. For those who are in covenant with him. There's always a separation between believers, amen, and doubters. There's always a separation between lovers and haters. There's always a separation. God does that. He will keep you in perfect peace. But you got to keep your mind stayed on him. You got to keep your mind on him. Amen. I love y'all so much. God bless you. Thank you today. If you received this message, come on. Throw some hearts up. Come on. I want you to just type in, I choose Jesus. I choose Jesus. I choose Jesus. There we go. I choose Jesus. I choose to be led of the Lord. I choose to be led of the Lord. We didn't follow the politics long enough. We didn't follow the politicians long enough. Will somebody dare to follow Christ? Will you dare to put Jesus above your political stance? Would you dare to put Jesus as the head? In the name of the Lord. I love y'all so much. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% confident. Amen. Who will receive and who won't. But God knows that there's somebody from whom the Holy Spirit needed to get this message to. I believe it's you. So if you receive it, I want to pray for you. Amen. Let's pray. 
Eternal Father, in Jesus' name, God, I thank you for the word. Your word is true. You said heaven and earth, not just politics and politicians, but heaven itself and earth is going to pass away. But your word shall remain forever. Your word is here. Ah, uh, it's been checked by the Holy Ghost. It's here. Hallelujah. And it's here to stay. And so, God, we repent. We repent before making anything more important and other things are priority over you and your word and the call you have on our life. God, give us new strength and new energy today. Please, Holy Spirit, to do the will of God. Lord, we never lose. We never lose when we follow you. You take us from glory to glory. There's no loss. There's no backtracking. There's no backstepping in Jesus. We always win. The Bible says we do, the Bible says we don't win some lose some. It says you cause us to always triumph. Always triumph. There is no win some lose some in Jesus. We always triumph in Christ Jesus the Lord. We receive that. We receive increase. We receive triumph anointings. We receive breakthrough anointings. Oh, come on, somebody. We receive it in the name of Jesus. We receive forgiveness. We repent, oh God. We come back to the first love. We come back to the first call in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Break off the chains of being addicted and uh, just feeling so inundated to the world system. Because the world does not, how, that's not the way we win. You've always caused us to win because of your blood and your word. We win in Jesus' name. We are a winner. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your mercy over our lives and our families. We continue to honor you and bless you. We will put you first. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Amen. Father, we lift up the nation. We lift up our country. This, we pray, God, truly to make it one nation under God. We truly pray, God, that you will bring us uh, past our sins and the sins of our forefathers. Hallelujah. And that you would unite us. And that you would help us, Lord, to understand, let your will be done on earth, in America, just like it is in heaven. Let your will be done. There is no uh, systems and there is no divisions in heaven so let your will be done on earth in America the way it's done in heaven we pray for mercy 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 and we pray for grace 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 over this land in Jesus name hallelujah I love y'all so much God bless you thank you for your time for your attention do me a favor share this on your wall Somebody in your family, some of your co-workers, some of the friends on your page needs to be encouraged. Hallelujah. Somebody need to know that we can break down this wall that divides. Amen. And I pray to God that this message is just that, that it will help us break down the walls of division, the walls of systems, and the walls of confusion so that we can place finally and put into a man perspective for the final days of this year is what I was trying to say. For the final days of this year, we could put in perspective our purpose in Jesus. Amen. Purpose over politics. Purpose over politics in Jesus' name. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to work on our purpose. God love you. God bless you. God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed. Much Amen. love to you. Amen. Peace. <laughs> God bless you. Life changers, stay on the phone. Life changers, stay on the phone. I want to share a special time with you, with uh, our family. All right. Love and blessings to you. God bless America. Hallelujah. Play Shoko Bahasa Katara Basuka.